Google Docs it gives you the opportunity to return any document to a previous version. So now I'm going to take you to my drive and I'll show you a couple different documents that I have a bunch of different versions and, I'll, and we'll restore some earlier versions and just basically walk through it. So here we are in my drive and let's open up the first document that says Google Forms Instructions. Now with this document there's probably over 40 different versions because in this document most of the time I'll erase this part right here which is a link for a Google Form and I'll replace it with a different link. The reason why I do that right now is that I'm not allowed to, to have my students emails so I just copy the link down here. So let's take a look at all the different versions that I've created. So to check out my versions, I'll just go to File, scroll down, see Revision History, and let's move to the right, and you can see a whole bunch of different versions, dating all the way back to December 2nd, which is the first one. And this is what it originally looked like, and it, and it evolved to this, where I added the words exactly. And if you look at the previous version, I didn't have the word exactly. So I thought maybe the students needed to have that exactly in just so that they could be a little more careful when typing. And the next version looked like this. Or I erased the previous link and pasted a new link. And then the next version, and the next version, etc., etc., and so forth. And for my last example, I'm going to look at a scientific notation quiz. And in this example, we'll be looking more at changes that involve small edits instead of changes that, that involve revisions. So let's go to file history. And if you see here, there's only two times that I've worked on it. At 754 and 740. However, there are a bunch of different edits. So although I've only worked on this perhaps twice, each time that I worked on it, I made a bunch of different changes. So up here it says total edits. And we can take a look at each individual edit. So for example, let's go to the first one. And it starts with the addition of these questions right here. And we go to the next one, where I erased this and added that. And the next one, where these ones were crossed out and the next revision, and the next revision, where I crossed out when it was appropriate to use a graduated cylinder rather than a beaker, and I added this, and the next revision, and I changed the title from lab procedures to scientific notation, and the next, and now you see I'm actually changing the standards located at the top, where I erased 5.1, uh, 0.12a1 and I've added 5.1.12b2 because I've changed the standards and you can go all the way up to the last revision number 12 so with this document although there weren't uh, although there were many different times that I've worked on it so the revision history here only shows two times uh, 754 and uh, 740 however each time that I worked on it I made a bunch of changes and those changes are reflected in the number of edits and if I want to see it from a list view, just click here. And this is all from a list view. So this is what it originally looked like. And the next edit. And the next edit. Etc. and so forth. So if you just take a look at this slide right here, it shows us uh, six different versions, version one, two, three, four, five, six. And I pointed to version three because you know what, maybe you'll be working on a file and you change it so many times that you don't know which one you like and you can always go back to, to your revision history and choose the one that you like. Over here it says, I like this one and it's pointing to revision three. So right now I just wanna say thank you for your time and please watch the next video in the series, commenting on Google Docs.